Okay, let me spawn in slash Orion. And yeah, there we go. That's what what was supposed to happen. In order to spawn a buzz using chat, what you first is going to do is add a script to server script service. And I'm going to name this bus spawn. Now that we did that, time to type this in. So first of all, we're going to get the players, the local players equals game get service players. And now that we get the players, we're going to use the event called players.chatted. Oh wait, no, actually, I have to do players.player added first connect function. So whenever a player joins the game, we will be able to get this player here. And now that we got this player, what we're going to do is we're going to do player dot chat it connect function and what this um, event is going to do is whenever the player uh, enters a message it will show up i mean it will fire that event so we can see what message they type in so I'll just put message in parameters then after that I'm good to type in local uh, new message equals message. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split that message using a separator by uh, the slash. So after the players enter message, it will get split here by the separator and we can see what kind of message they sent. So then here I can say local command equals new message to. Uh, the reason why I'm using a uh, new message uh, bracket to bracket is because this one will become a table so it'll probably have two things the slash and then the message we want to get the message part and since that's the second part that's why i just type in the two there so now that we did that i'll put then if command is equal equal to and then you can type in what you want the name of the command to be for my, the command that I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with um, Orion. That's the command I'm gonna go for it then. Oh yeah, and I should actually message for the slip part. You can choose what you want the separator to be. It's just that whenever the slash appears on it, it will just let the message from that. Just to let you know. So now that we did that, so we say if command equal, equals to Orion, then what we'll do is uh, we will get the bus that I want. So in here, we got this city bus in there, but I could also add in a different bus. So let me get the Orion bus just to show you that you can just spawn that in. So I just go put, type in Orion for my model. And we can just grab this Orion bus, that'll be fine. So you can grab whatever bus you want. You can put it in the replicated storage, so we're going to replicate that. And then here we're going to do local uh, bus is equal to, and then you just need to type in the name of your you need to get the bus, so we go to game dot replicate the storage dot the name of your bus, which I have as Orion Seven. And now that we did that, do you also need to type in clone, since we want to clone that bus from the replicate the storage. 
So now that we got a bus, we can also get the position of the player. So we will do local position equals. Uh, we also need to get the humanoid root part so we can get the position of that. So we'll just do local humanoid root part is equal to player dot character dot humanoid root part now that we got in that we can do humanoid root part dot position for this position variable now that we did that we can do bus and we'll use the move to function to move the bus to the position that the humanoid is. But I do want to create a new vector for that. So we're going to do, uh, let me actually change the variable name of this to uh, humanoid position. And then I'll name this local spawn position at equals to vector three. So we're gonna make a new vector. And in here I'm gonna put in the humanoid position dot x in here, and I'm going to add five so that it doesn't directly spawn within the person. And then why um I just going to just put in humanoid position no humanoid position dot y and then after that I will just do humanoid position dot z and now that I got that spawn position because it's just type that in spawn of position and now uh, before that, we also need to put in bus dot parent equals game dot workspace. So it goes to the workspace over here. And if we go ahead and test this out, everything should be working a okay. Okay, so now we spawn here. So if I go ahead and type in slash Orion, as you can see, the Orion bus does spawn, but it does spawn right on top of me. So I will need to, um, um, so I think what I need to do is move the bus parent equals game dot workspace, take that part out. And then I go to paste this above uh, local spawn position. And if we do that, I can just get rid of this and put a plus 20. Now, if we do this, this should hopefully work. Okay, let me spawn in slash Orion and yeah there we go that's what what was supposed to happen so yeah the problem that that no the problem I was facing since it was keep spawning on top of us was because um I just had the bus apparent equals game dot workspace I had this right after the bus move to function right there it's supposed to go right before it and then for it to work properly i don't know why it's like that but anyways as you can see we were able to spawn that bus properly and i hope you uh, find this tutorial quite helpful yeah there it goes spawning that bus again <laughs> it's quite funny just spawning on top of that and anyways, I'll see you in the next tutorial.